Yo, YouTube, what is up? How y'all doing? It's your dude, Eric. I want to talk about uh, what hurts. It's a little different subject because every other subject, I always talk about the same things over and over, but I'm going to do my best to change it. So I'm going to talk about what hurts. Like do things like hurt your hands or your nails, your wrist, um, your knees or your toes, um, your face or anything like that, or something that's a part of your body. I want to talk about that. You know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna say a story. I'm gonna tell you a story about it. Here we go. <clears throat> now, uh, like every time when I'm walking around, uh, since I'm still at my apartment, I walk around without any to uh, without any shoes on, not anymore. When I get in, settling down to get ready to eat dinner or go to bed, I would walk and sometimes, like, I would always, always hit my toe, my toenails and my toe, my toe fingers. And every time when I'm at my mom's house, I always hit my toes every time because I don't like I don't always watch my step but I do but every time I bump one it freaking hurts man it hurts and then I have to hop on one toe just to make sure it doesn't hurt and it stings freaking hurts man also uh, every time like when I uh, cut my nails it would sting but I don't bleed like, I'm not bleeding, but it stings. Like, I could really feel it. And also, what hurts is that uh, whenever something's itching, I would, like, like something itching on my face, like, something else will hurt. Like, every, like I would pull out, I would to pull out some ingrown hairs out of my beard, which it hurts. Really hurts. And uh, sometimes, sometimes it will hurt my beard that when I shave. Also, uh, something else that hurts, like, um, okay, so what else hurts is my back, because I'm a tall dude, I'm like six feet tall, like six two, I don't know when was the last time I checked my height, but the last time it was like six two, so that's my height. The most of the thing in my back, it really hurts. It doesn't hurt now, but it used to. Um, last week I don't know what caused it but like I make sure that uh, I don't deal with that pain in the back again so like I had to do some stretches or I had to do some stretches and massage my back which kind of helped for me because I really thought it wouldn't help but it did so I'm I'm right there and it doesn't always hurt right now so I would do my best to like stretch it and make sure I put um put the position back so that my back doesn't hurt again. You know? Sometimes it's hard to do that because you have to be careful <clears throat> which of the area that's a relief or if it's a pain on your back. So there's that. And uh, sometimes my ankle will hurt. Uh, for sometimes if I'm walking in an imbalanced way or something like that, or if I'm, like if I'm tilting or something, like uh, back then, uh, 2015 I had a surgery for my foot uh, I had a like I had a foot correction it was like no balance on my right foot so I had to get that done it's been like hang on how, almost seven years of my foot surgery on my on my right foot surgery because uh both of my feet, I have flat feet. Sometimes it will hurt when I walk. 
but I'm not complaining as much. Like I could still walk, but sometimes I can't stand for like more than, how do you say it? Two or four hours. Sometimes I just can't stand that long. Unless I'm walking, it wouldn't hurt as much. And one time, uh, when I was in college, like uh, in Cypress College, I was, uh, we were playing around doing some mus musical chairs or something, switching chairs and who gets the chair the most and all that. Like when I was uh, getting up, sometimes my knee, like my knee was snap, which I didn't see it, I didn't see it coming. It snapped. I was barely okay to walk. Like it didn't break or anything, but it like the bone it just snapped out of nowhere. And it and it became a little numb and funny that I was barely able to walk. But like after school, it, it this was during summer school. Sometimes it will hurt. It will really hurt when the bone snaps out of nowhere and you didn't expect it. When you snap it yourself, it doesn't always hurt, but when it snaps out of nowhere, it kind of hurts. It gets numb and funny or something like that. And then I'll have to, like, after school, I was still able to walk to the bus to go home. And then when I relax at home, I put ice on it. Another thing, this was the most painful that I've done. And it was pretty stupid. It's freaking hot in here. The most painful story. This was in uh, 2015 or 2016. We had uh, I mean, once my uh, one of my families, my uncle, my other uncle was coming over. We had to uh, uh, help my mom uh, to bring the bridge. I mean bridge bring the refrigerator back in the house from the garage. So I went and helped them to do that. The dumbest thing was I didn't have no shoes on. We were carrying the refrigerator with the dolly. And so when we got the refrigerator in the house, the dolly, uh, it was moving, it ran over my toe, man. Ran over my toe, it freaking hurt. It freaking hurts, man. It was really painful. I had blood spilled all over the place like it was a blood footprint. I had to hop on my toe, on one toe. No, 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 one toe. Yeah, I had to help. I had to hop with one feet, just so I could go to the bathroom and uh, uh, get the tissues so it could wipe off the blood. But you know what? What was really going on when it hurt? It didn't break uh, the bone on the toe, but it opened the skin. It was blood coming out of there and some parts of it, like some muscular tissue or something like that, that was torn up. And it freaking hurt, man. And it was disturbing when I looked at it. Freaking painful. Um, and also, when one time uh, as a kid, when I was riding the bike from middle school, I fell down. I was falling off. I think, yeah, it was this arm right here where when I fell down, it scraped my elbow. It scraped the skin. I was bleeding a lot. It's kind of healed, but still the same spot. And sometimes when I'm getting my hair done, they would like braid braid my hair in the back. And sometimes it freaking hurt, man, because uh, sometimes my hair is pretty sensitive or my head. If it doesn't hurt for other people, I don't know. That's cool with you, but sometimes it will hurt me. But it is what it is if you want some neat hair that's braiding in the back. So, 
sometimes uh, I could never tell which hurts. I could never know how to um, heal when something hurts. It's tough. Oh, also, my teeth. Uh, when I when I drink cold stuff, like it freaking hurts my teeth, man. Like it's way too cold. Like it, I get pretty sensitive uh, on my teeth when things get cold. Usually, I uh, not. Uh, what else hurts? I think. Uh, oh, sometimes it will hurt. I have to, uh, sometimes it hurts to pinch myself. It even hurts when you're peeling, uh, when you keep peeling uh, the something, something bubbly on your skin, like uh, like like white blood's about to come out. And I look at the bumps on my skin. I'll have to peel it out, and it freaking hurts. Blood coming out and stuff, you know. But yeah, when you look at the the skin bumps, it will hurt sometimes because um, it's been like popping out and and you see where it hurts. And also muscle cramps. Like I don't get muscle cramps, but every time I try to stretch or... Um, Yeah, try to stretch or something like that. My muscles would pull. And it would freaking hurt, man, because I have to do my best to stretch it and avoid the muscle from pulling it. Like when I get it, like when I'm in bed, if I'm if I'm like not able to sleep or if I'm having some kind of dream that's making me move, some one of my muscles will pull, like the hamstrings. The hamstrings on the back of my uh, leg. Like, it will hurt because it will pull the muscle and because I barely control it. Sometimes, even with your arms or your fingers, like, I used to have a muscle pull on my fingers when I was doing the job. Of spraying things to get things clean. It freaking hurt, man. I mean, it doesn't hurt that much, but, like, if you feel a pull, you have to stretch it out until it's until it stops pulling it. All right, I think that's what I say because I really can't come up with something else that hurts. Okay, like, dislike this video, comment, share what you think. And let me know what's your painful story about what hurts you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.